It's seven o'clock. We're gonna start the uh, the me the meeting, of Mayor, Board of Mayor and Alderman, for December the sixth, two thousand sixteen. This is a regular meeting. Uh, I call this meeting to order. We do have a quorum. I've got the prayer. The, pr the pledge of allegiance is by Alderman Jones. Please stand. <coughs> Heavenly Father, as we gather for this meeting, may we guide, may we, may, may we be guided by your wisdom and your presence of your spirits in this holiday season. We pray for the victims of the fire and storm disaster. Lord, you would comfort the lives that were spared and that you would take care of those who perished. Lord, please bless those who are doing everything they can to help these people and also make sure that things run smoothly in the repairing of their communities. We pray for our men and women that is serving our country at home and around the world. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. amen. Take the flag. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> we need to prove our minutes for November the 1st. 2016 regular meeting. Need a mo motion to approve the minutes. I'll make to accept this minute. I got a motion to accept it. Second. I need a second. Our second. I got a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No, no nays. Uh, uh, will be minutes is approved. Moving on to department reports. Fire department. Who's got a chief? Uh, Ricky McCormick. I'm back. I get six Glad minutes this month, back. right? I wasn't here last month, so I get six, right? I'll try to keep it short for you. I do want to thank though, Chief, Assistant Chief Clark and Assistant Chief Culberson. They've uh, they've took over a lot of work for me the past few months since I've been out on medical. I do appreciate everything they've done and kept everything in order. So. For the month of November in 2016, we had a total of 279 calls. That consisted of two structure fires, 26 fire alarms, two vehicle fires, one grass fire, one hazardous materials call, 23 motor vehicle accidents, 192 medical calls, three canceled in route, 14 miscellaneous. <coughs> Year to date, we've refurbished uh, a 991 fire hydrants. Uh, we're, we're getting closer and closer to getting, getting all of those all over the city done and getting the bands on them and all for nighttime visibility. Uh, we've also, our three inspectors have completed uh, 12 fire inspections as of this date. Average response time for the month of November 2016 is 3.1 minutes. And total water consumption for the same month, November 2016, is 11,500 gallons. Any questions? Chief? Yes, sir. Um, I just got a quick question. What is the kind of just a rough estimate on y'all of the people that are accepting the fire, the, fire, the smoke detection? Uh, actually, it's in your packet <coughs> there of how many we've given out. In fact, I think it's at the very top of one of our pages here. Uh, under the fire prevention section there in your monthly administrative report, five, five new smoke alarms were installed, a tour in the Girl Scouts and all, but the numbers are there for you. Okay. Uh, it, it's been pretty good, uh, not, as well, not as good as we would like for it to be, but we've put up quite a few. Uh, we've had quite a few homeowners to contact us to put the smoke detectors up, and we've had just about as many to call and have us help, help with their batteries and things like that because a lot of the homes especially out in Lake Forest that have cathedral ceilings you almost have to have a ladder to get up there to put the batteries where they're locating these these uh, detectors at so 
We actually have been going out and doing some of those too. Uh, I actually went out on one a few weeks back and uh, it was just batteries, but we ended up replacing them with some of the new ones because they were hardwired and they were just, they were so old that they were just, they needed to be replaced. So people are grasping it, but we still, we keep it up on our site. We <coughs> constantly, I'm, I'm posting it back out in the other subdivision sites and stuff, but it just, uh, sometimes it just doesn't seem like these programs take off as well as we would like for them to. I know there's plenty of more people out there that need these smoke detectors. They're free of charge. We come out and put them up for you. They last 10 years. They're, they're not cheap smoke detectors. They are good detectors that the state's given to us. Plus the state's able to track safe, life safety and things like that through, through that program. Because every one that we put up in a home, we have to turn those addresses into the state to put in a database. So it helps us keep up with that as well. So for anybody that you know in the city limits of Laverne, we, we offer this service to you and it's free of charge. So I, I would encourage everybody to take, uh, take use of that. Any other questions? Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. Moving on to police. Chief Walker. Mayor, Vice Mayor, or Alderman, you've got the reports in your package, the calls for service uh, for 15 and, and then for 16, and uh, that's our Tiber's report that I was able to get off by the meeting time this time because it was a little bit later. And then you should also have uh, there in your package as well uh, the, the Group A offenses. If you look at the calls for service this year, uh, through November, there are 10,661 more than for the same period last year, or up 41.4%. Our Group A offenses reported a TBI or up uh, by 625, which is 32.2%. But one of the things that you can can look at of the crimes against persons on the right hand side of that that table not that one it's the one prior to that if you look on the right hand side at the top portion crimes against persons uh, and then look over on the left side down on the about halfway down the page you can see the crimes that are domestic violence related and those uh, domestic violence related Crimes represent 55.6% of all the crimes against persons. So domestic violence still is one of those things that uh, we see too, way too much of here. Friday night, 4 to 8 p.m., uh, Miss Debbie and Summer and Schuyler uh, <coughs> has invited us once again to have our police fire uh, car hop Santa's uh, competition to see who can raise the most money in tips, either fire or police, and then uh, people will also be allowed to bring in uh, new toys to the Sonic. So from 4 to 8 p.m., we need everybody this week to go to the Laverne Sonic, not Smyrna's or anywhere else. Come to Laverne Sonic or the car hop Santa's again. And then uh, on Tuesday the 13th, and we don't have a time exactly yet, but that evening we're supposed to be serving at Chili's. And now that's over in Smyrna, but Chili's has supported us before and they're supporting us again in our efforts here for our Christmas for children and seniors. And tonight our Domino's here is giving a portion of every sale and also Firehouse Subs in Smyrna tonight is given a uh, portion of every sale. To, and this is second time Firehouse has done that uh, in the last month. Um, it's kind of encouraging because we have so many people that are stepping up and helping this year and we get a lot of additional folks who are doing things this year rock springs middle school is has asked us to help and saturday morning nine o'clock i think isn't it uh, we're going to meet them at rock springs middle school and help them go with them to distribute uh their christmas angel tree there at rsms uh, they're coming in fire and police are going with them to do their their 
sent a deliveries this Saturday. And we've got, Miss Donna, this is something that's very near and dear to your heart. I know even though you're not there directly now, but we have 49 seniors this year, Miss Sherry, that have been names that have been given to us. In the past, uh, we haven't had nearly that many, but people have actually started coming. And, and I, I shared something with Bruce a little earlier that what makes your heart uh, smile is with seniors, seniors don't have the th same requests like children do for Santa. Seniors give you things that they need. And there's a big long range of them and some of them just make me smile because they remind me of my mom and dad and things that they asked for. They weren't things that they necessarily wanted but things that they might have needed. Anyone wants to come help us, uh, we'd be, love to have you at any of these events. And please support all of these, these places that I've told you about that are doing all they can to help us and help make Christmas a special time for our seniors and our children here. Any questions? Thank you. Chief. Thank you. Moving on to Cole Randolph. <coughs> Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman. The monthly report for November 2016 is as follows. There were 19 single family dwelling permits issued, valuation sum total of 3.1 million. Commercial, there were four at roughly half a million. Miscellaneous permits, there were 11 at 88,000. Additions and remodels, there were six at 223,000. Commercial plan review, there were three. Um, total monthly permits for the month were 45 at a valuation of just over $4 million. Uh, plumbing permits, there were 21 single family permits issued. There were two commercial plumbing permits. Mechanical permits, there were 22 single family. There were three commercial mechanical permits. Complaints for the month were three for tall grass, junk cars and yard, there were 15. Others were 103. Building inspections for the month were 293. Our impact fees year-to-date totals were 737,000 for the roads, streets, parks. It was 45,000 year-to-date total, and the police impact fees were 66,076 for the year-to-date. Our monthly revenue with impact fees were 52,083 for the month. We're at a total of 100 or excuse me, 1243000 on the year. Um, total, total number of single-family dwellings permits issued year-to-date have been 147. This time last year, it was 107 single-family dwellings permits issued. Total number of permits for the year have been 520. Any questions? Thank you, Randolph. Thank you, sir. Moving on to parks. David? Mayor Alderman, you guys have the numbers for the month of uh, November for parks. Help desk tickets, 41, 135 man hours, um, 25 hours of overtime. Um, upcoming event, Senior Citizens Advisory Committee will be meeting December 15th at 4 p.m. December 9th, which is this Friday, we have a Christmas drive-in movie. It starts at 6.30. January 16th is our Martin Luther King Ceremony Day. Any questions? Thank you, David. Thank you. <coughs> Moving on to finance, Phyllis. Good afternoon, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman. Year to date through the end of October for the general fund, expenses have exceeded revenues by approximately $2.3 million. For local sales tax, we've collected approximately $2.2 .2 million, which is $365,000 better than what we budgeted and $227,000 better than prior year. For the state street aid, um, revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately $76,000, and in our stormwater fund, revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately $122,000. In our water and sewer fund, revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately $2.6 million. Second page represents our balances in our bank accounts, and on the third page is a comparison to prior year. 
for the general fund, revenues are up about 245,000 and expenses are up about 712,000. For the water sewer fund, revenues are up about 177,000 and expenses are down about 696,000. Um, tap fee revenues are up compared to prior year by approximately $338,000. Any questions? Thank you, Phyllis. Moving on to uh, library, Donna. Mayor, Vice Mayor Alderman, good evening. The attendance in the library in November was 6,032 with an average of 262 per day. We added 98 new patrons. We circulated 5,522 items and there were 2,362 computer users. We had 49 programs between the children, the teen and the adults with an attendance of 542. In November, we did do Food for Fines, which was uh, from November 1st through the 23rd. This is if you had some overdue fines, you could donate an item, um, a non-perishable food item, and we would waive up to a dollar off of your overdue fines. We received approximately 502 items, and those were donated to the Laverne Police Department to be used in the Thanksgiving and the Christmas for children and seniors food baskets. So we appreciate all the patrons who had overdue fines that came in and brought uh, items. Coming in, in December, we have Magic of Santa. That's this coming Saturday at uh, 2 p.m. We have Bruce Amato, who will be doing our magic show. And at 2.30, we'll enjoy milk and cookies and visit with Santa Claus. We also have a new program, which we're really excited about. It's called Back to Basics Quilting. This is actually taught by one of our patrons, uh, Gloria Corwin. And the goal of this class is just to stimulate interest in quilting as a hobby and to teach the basics of quilting and enable the participants to complete the projects on their own. Uh, she had this class, is gonna have this class twice in December. She had one class this past Saturday. We had four people and we're looking forward to having a few more people on the 17th. This is something that we're hoping to continue. So if you're interested, uh, please give us a call. And of course, you can visit our website to see all of the other programs that we have going on and any closures that we may have in December. Any questions? Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Moving on to water treatment, Thomas. <coughs> Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman, our newly elected Alderman, Jones. Uh, we have as our summary report for October of this year. Uh, the plant delivered 138 million gallons of water for residents of Laverne. Um, the lake level is uh, pretty much at winter pool. Today at 5 p.m. it was at 485 feet, 0.53 feet. Uh, October was a low month for rainfall which uh, Michael mentioned had to uh, enact our drought plan, which uh, didn't make everybody happy, but it has to be done. Our flushing team during the month uh, visited 11 sites, and we're mainly just flushing dead end lines uh, to regulate the sediment and chlorine levels. They used up 268,000 gallons. Our state lab for the month of October uh, approved two new lines and one fixed uh, repair. Our customer service complaints were uh, six altogether, and we had five for pressure and one for uh, just taste and odor appearance, which we flushed out. Our maintenance for the month was at $2,304, which leaves us a balance of $28,623 for the remainder of the contract period. Our safety and <coughs> health I mean, safety training this month was on forklift training uh, and our lift training. We had some outside personnel come in and give our mandatory training for us. Uh, we're at the month of October, we were full staffed. Uh, we had end of November, we had one resignation. Somebody's going on to bigger and better jobs and we have one employee out on uh, sick leave. Uh, October, of course, was the trail of treats. We had a good time and enormous crowds were there. 
that's really about it. Questions? Thank you, Thomas. Moving on to the Public Works Department. Garland. Good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman. <coughs> this is for the month of November. But a total of 21 uh, requests for brush removal with 353 pickups, uh, 29 loads at 70,000 pounds, 469 work hours, workhouse hours, uh, 117 work orders with 30 hours overtime and three of that on call. In the fleet department, we had a total of 41 repairs. In-house was 36, outsourced was five. A uh, total of 37 oil changes, 16 tires, four brakes, and 12 equipment repairs. Anybody have any questions? Thank you, Garland. We're moving on to utility. Michael Deeks. Mayor Alderman, good afternoon. I'd like to say congratulations to Mr. Jones and Mr. Cole. <coughs> uh, for the water department, for the month of November 2016, we had a total uh, work orders of 86. Our new meter sets for the month were six. We answered 114 Tennessee one calls. We had five main line breaks, uh, nine service line breaks. Estimated gallons of water not sold for the month was almost uh, 24,000. Uh, fire hydrants that we cleaned with the plug hub were 86. Prepped those for the fire department to come behind and paint. Uh, the wa water department overtime for the month was 40. Uh, on down the sewer department, we had a total of 80 work orders. Service calls were 54, pump stations were 26. Final grinder pump inspections for the month were zero. Manhole inspections and repairs was 103 for the month. Our grinder pump rebuilds in-house were three. Uh, the total overtime for the month was 29 in the sewer department. Uh, also, the drought conditions that we're in, we are still currently in phase two, uh, but we're hopeful with the recent rain activity that we'll be able to lift that soon. Uh, we'll continue to monitor the U.S. Drought Monitor will continue to look at that and hope we'll be able to get, get that behind us soon. Uh, also, we had a Sean Irvin in the sewer department. I want to congratulate him. He passed his collections too, so we added another operator to the sewer department. Any questions? Thank you, Michael. Good job. Thank Good you. Job. Uh, human resources, we, we, got, we got nobody to trail no out. Um, Hope everything uh, goes good for Cheryl. Uh, speedy back. Uh, moving on to old business. This is second reading ordinance 2016-15, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Municipal Code ordinance as it pertains to the overlay district. Received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on September 27th. 2016 and we had a public hearing on this tonight and no one got up and spoke need a motion to approve or deny i make a motion to approve got a motion need a second second got a second alderman jones aye alderman brown aye alderman cole aye vice mayor green aye i say aye uh the ordinance passes moving on to second Reading Ordinance 2016-16, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Municipal Zoning Ordinance regarding sale towers and residential and agricultural districts. Received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on October 25th, 2016. We also had a public hearing on this tonight and no one got up and spit in a motion to approve or deny. I make a motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Second. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. The motion passes. The ordinance passes. <coughs> Down to consent, consent agenda. Need a motion to approve or deny? Take a motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. The consent agenda passes. We're down to new business. First reading ordinance 
1-17, an ordinance to amend Title II, Chapter 5 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding the membership of the Economic Development Advisory Committee. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? I second. Got a second. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. The ordinance passes. Moving on number seven, that's a resolution 2016-26. A resolution to amend the personnel policy and procedure manner for adopting a training reimbursement agreement policy. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? A second. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. The uh, resolution passes. Number eight. A, res uh, a resolution 2016-27, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Alderman to declare certain properties owned by the city to be surplus to the city needs and directing disposal of the same. <coughs> Excuse me, need a, need a motion to approve it or not? Motion to approve. Got a motion, need a second? Second. Got a second. Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. The resolution passes. Number nine, this is a motion to approve the Motel Marketing Study Proposal for Pat Tech Hospitality Consultants Incorporated. This received a favorable recommendation from the Economic Development Advisory Committee on November 2nd, 2016. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. The motion passes. Number 10, this is a point or remove board members, uh, committee members. Uh, a. The uh, Laverne Housing Authority, one term <coughs> expires. That's Deborah Baltrip. Uh, I think she wants to stay on, don't she? She would like to stay on. Okay. Yeah. Um, need a motion to uh, keep Debbie, Deborah Baltrip on the uh, Laverne Housing Authority. Need a motion to keep her on or take her off? Make a motion to keep her on. Motion her. being made to keep her on. Need a second? Second. Need a, got a second? Uh, Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. Ms. Baltrip, she remains on the committee. B, it's a Greenway Advisory Committee. Uh, need a board member to, since Tom is, is uh, no longer with us, we need a board member to uh, serve on this Greenway Advisory Committee. <coughs> I make a motion to uh, appoint Jason Cole. Got a motion to uh, appoint Jason Cole. Need a second? I second. Got a second. Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. And I say aye. Jason Cole replaces Tom Broker on the Greenway Advisory Committee. A C, Local Emergency Planning Committee, appointed one council member. Tom Broker is, is off. Need to appoint one council member. I make a motion to appoint Jason Cole. Got a motion to put Jason Cole. Need a second. Second. Got a second. Alderman Brown. Aye. Alderman Jones. Aye. Alderman Cole. Aye. Vice Mayor Green. Aye. Aye. Mr. Cole replaces Tom Broker on the uh, uh, Local Emergency Planning Commission. D, Park and Re Recreation Advisory Committee, uh, appoint a council member. Tom Broker, he, he, he's no longer with us. Need a, a motion to uh, appoint a board member. 
I make a motion to appoint Mayor Waldron. Got a motion to appoint Mayor Waldron. Need a second? Second. Got a second. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? No. Alderman Brown? Aye. Vice Mayor Green? Aye. I say aye. I guess I'm on the Park and Rec Committee, replacing Tom Broker. So we're down to Mayor and Alderman comments. Um, Alderman Brown. Just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and um, keep the prayers um, over for our friends in Knoxville and the Gatlinburg area where the, where the burns were um, in Pigeon Forge. So let's say everyone in that area, um, let's pray for everyone in that area so that we'll all be affected by that. Alderman Jones. I'd just like to say I want to thank everyone that, uh, again, that came out to vote. And I look forward to uh, serving the city for another four years. I also would like to say that uh, in an election year, in a situation uh, such that we had, I don't think that there are any winners or losers as far as it, when it comes to the city. Uh, as I stated before, uh, anyone who's going to come forth and be forthright and take care of the city of Laverne, they got my vote. I just happen to vote for myself. So I look forward to serving for another four years. Thank you. Alderman Cole. I want to thank the voters for coming out and uh, voting at the elections and uh, appreciate their support. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to serve the community. I uh, want to thank the uh, fire department for uh, going up to Gatlinburg and um, you know, serving there, helping those people. Um, it's, it's very much appreciated up there by many, both here in this community and up there. Um, please remember to come out to Car Hop Friday. Uh, should be a lot of fun. And uh, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Alderman oh, Brown. Sorry, got me. Mayor. Oh, Alderman Jones. <laughs> Mayor. I done got everybody. I didn't know if you said anything. <laughs> you missed me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know what she said. Vice Chair Green. I would like to I didn't remember you everyone a very Merry Christmas and I hope everybody stays well. So I don't have anything else to say except that we're proud of every person in this room and this our city is something to be very proud of. And our mayor. Couldn't leave him out. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Well, I, I want to thank the fire department for their good job uh, in the city and the police department and all the people that was involved in the parade of lights. Uh, it was a wet and messy night, but everything went well. And uh, I want to thank Assistant Chief. Uh, Clark and his group that went to Gatlinburg, I sent them all a, a, a letter from the mayor today thanking them for the good, good hard work and uh, glad that they went and glad that they came back safe and uh, just urge everybody to, to come out to the, uh, tonight to the uh, firehouse and the uh, dominoes and support a good effort and then the Sonic Saturday <coughs> and uh, thanks for all that was involved in, you know, in the Parade of Lights. There was, there was a lot of employees, public works, park department, and, and everybody. I know I'm leaving some group out, but it was, it was a team effort. And uh, just welcome Calvin Jones back as alderman, and welcome Jason aboard. And everybody have a happy holiday and a safe Christmas and a new year. And see you back here next year. <laughs>